Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and got some news for um, Game Maker developers. Basically, the Nintendo Switch platform for Game Maker Studio 2 is now available in beta. So if you want to develop a game for the Nintendo Switch, that option is available to you as long as you have Game Maker Studio and a bit of cash uh, and I guess a Nintendo account. We'll look at all that in a second. So basically, uh, this has been going on for some time. Actually, Game Maker Studio has been able to publish to the Nintendo Switch uh, for a few months now. There's actually a couple of games already published such as Hyperlift Drifter and Undertale. Those games were made with Game Maker Studio and already are available on the uh, Nintendo Switch today. But this is going to open it up for more people. Now the expected launch date is uh, September of 2018 and this basically again will allow you to export your Game Maker games to run on the Nintendo Switch platform. Now there are, of course, a couple of hoops you have to jump through. Uh, specifically, you see down here, uh, to get authorized, uh, you need to be a Nintendo Switch developer, so you sign up there. If you are curious, I actually went through the sign-up process. There's nothing really involved in it, but you do have to sign an NDA, so I'm not sure how much I can actually show you of it, but I was curious to see, basically, if there was a delay or a hang-up or anything there, but there really isn't. You give them a bunch of information about yourself, you sign off, agree on the NDA, and then, bang, you are a developer. Um, and then it'll take you to the Nintendo Game Maker middleware webpage, which we will get back to in a second, because there is a bit of a hiccup in this plan. Uh, and then finally, and this is where the deal breaker is going to be for many, many people, uh, you will also require a Nintendo Switch license at $7.99 per 12 months or a Nintendo, uh, sorry, a Game Maker Studio 2 Ultimate license uh, for $1,500 for 12 months. So basically, this is going to cost you either $800 or $1,500 if you're supporting multiple platforms using Game Maker. So this is not really an indie, let's homebrew on our uh, Nintendo Switch using Game Maker kind of project. This is for people that have developed a game they think is commercially viable and they want it to run on the Nintendo Switch. Now there are a couple of gotchas here. Actually there's one big gotcha. Um, so as I said you can sign up for developer program no problem at all but when you go ahead and click this link yeah you get this. And I've tried on multiple computers, multiple different attempts, and the um, Switch middleware page just simply doesn't work for me. I don't know what the deal is there, and I hope this is resolved sooner than later, but um, yeah, so that whole, let's see, what are they calling it here? Um, to register your request, take part in the open beta via Nintendo's Game Maker middleware page. This part simply, well, it gives you this. So do be aware that the process doesn't seem to currently work. However, if you are interested in learning more about Game Maker Studio, even if you aren't looking to develop for the Nintendo Switch, I've done a full review of it over on Game From Scratch. This was back in December, right around the time when Game Maker Studio was just released. And I basically do a full walkthrough of all the tools that are available in it. It's a pretty comprehensive package. Um, you know, it, it's struggling, not struggling, uh, it's in a unique position now, whereas it's a commercial game engine sold for a fixed price tag in a world that is moving more and more either open source or free to start with royalties on the back end or, uh, you know, tiered to income kind of pricing. So Game Maker has to justify its costs up front and Game Maker costs you a hundred bucks. And then as you saw, it costs you more for other platforms. So this move today, this whole Nintendo Switch announcement is all about professional developers, not indie developers, which is unfortunate. I would absolutely love to see uh, an indie homebrew option. You know, we, we used to have it with uh, XNA, and XNA was the awesomest thing for indie development. Uh, I'm so sad still that Microsoft killed it prematurely. But, you know, then Sony came along and did the same thing with PlayStation Portable. Hell, I wrote a book about it. I sold like four copies because, again, Sony killed it early. And there's just such a great option or opportunity for Nintendo Switch to do the exact same thing. And I was kind of hoping this would be it. But obviously, with that price tag attached, this isn't aimed at homebrew or indie or anything like that. And I'm hoping to one day see that happen. Nintendo have the perfect console for it. But Nintendo's developer relations in the past haven't been great, and their relationships with the, the you know the indie market has been even kind of worse. So, anyways, less than a thousand bucks to be able to get your game on a, on a platform like the Nintendo Switch is still kind of new. It's not what I was dreaming of, but you know those are my expectations. It's not fair to project them on another console. But if you are interested in learning Game Maker Studio 2, you know again there is a price tag up front. So if you want to know what you're getting before you jump in, do be sure to check out this review. I will throw that down below. Additionally, I did a video covering the exact same material. It's part of the same review, in fact. Kind of walks you through exactly what you get, how you work in Game Maker, what the programming experience is like, what kind of tools are included, and that is about it. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that is the announcement today. The um, Nintendo Switch um, 
export for GameMaker is now in beta and will be coming live around September. No firm date as of yet. And if you want to get in on it, there's an $800 or a $1,500 price tag attached. Um, so let me know what you think. Are you developing using GameMaker? Are you looking at porting your game over to the Nintendo Switch? Are you a homebrew person who would love to see something like XNA for the Nintendo Switch? Even though this is that, we can all dream, right? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.